So the meaning of life is to find out the answers to life, the answers to existence as much as we can. Because there's never going to be a God that's going to appear. That's, that's the meaning of life. Um, if we had divine knowledge of God or a God or whatever God at birth like when you were born you already knew of a God people didn't have to tell you there was a God then possibly a God could exist or could have existed but since there's no proof of God all the religions are um, man-made so many different gods and God is never going to show up the meaning of life is to find the answer to life all the questions why we exist how did it come to be the origin of life how did we come to exist how did the big bang start um, you know, what caused it um, and more about uh, parallel universes, multiverses, other universes, other dimensions, galaxies, you name it. That's the meaning of life. I think that's the meaning of life to everybody. Um, because there's, there's never going to be God's, God's appearing. And, you know, you have, like, the tribe that have even no concept of God. I think it boils down to, if there was a God that created all existence, there wouldn't be multiple holy books. There wouldn't be holy books that has crazy rules, um, crazy laws. Stoning, raping, murder, genocide, homicide, God killing children, God, God killing people because they couldn't start the fire right. You know, bottom line, if there was a God, it would be, you would have really have knowledge of it at birth. When you're born, everybody on the face of the planet. And it's not like that. Everyone. There's just no God. No God is going to appear now. And um, and the whole all the religions are flawed. Um, so when you die, you know that's it. I mean, it has to be impossible for any of the religious gods to exist because um, the, all the contradictions in the Bible. All the stuff that doesn't make any sense, all the stuff that science has proven, has disproved all the religious books. You know, educated guesses for some bright people that might have had to do with, with in religions doesn't mean it's science, it's pseudoscience. People had educated guesses, doesn't mean it's real. So all these reasons is, is why the gods is just um, impossible to exist, and of course, I'm sure Krishna and would have come from who created it. So this is the meaning of the life to find the answers to all existence. While we're here, might as well, and I think that's the greatest thing ever for anybody. Mystery. Um. You know, um, whether good or bad, I mean, hopefully it's, 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 it's a, it's a beautiful mystery why we exist and a beautiful mystery that caused the Big Bang, you know, um, um, but whether it's good or bad, it's all about the truth and that's the meaning of life to me. I think it should be to everybody to find out the real answer to all this stuff. Um, 
You know, just because people give the comfort that uh, people feel a magical sky god makes you, loves you and created you and gave you the purpose for the heaven or the hell for no belief doesn't make it real. Um, besides, it's jealous God. And, um, you know, an all loving God don't even need to create help. Everybody could go to a magical heaven. Um, and I guess the, the hell would be for the evil people. But, um, but the funny concept of this is, uh, it does, it's, it's actually kind of backwards. Even the bad people can go to heaven if they repent and, and believe, while the good people, if they don't believe, they go to hell. This is the, the system doesn't make any sense. Um, it's a con game. Um, And, and the hell's not like a prison or torture. It's a, a torture for eternity. <laughs> it, it, this stuff just cannot exist. It's ridiculous to exist. So, um... Maybe on one of these alien worlds they have like a like a real tablet or a, to show uh, show how it all how it all started all existence and, and why it started you know and it, it turns out it's those it's polytheisms and Anunnaki gods <laughs> but but that's the easy answer I mean they had and you know, they had educated guess with with the solar system everything's a right alignment and all baffles your mind, but the, the bottom line, all, all this stuff, it's still pseudoscience, not real science, you know, also the histories, people had good minds, had with good thinkers, but it doesn't mean it's real stuff, it's the real science, everybody always wanted to explain it all, you know, um, some people got, maybe they felt got closer than others, some people just went off the deep end. Any gods, whether it's Anunnaki gods, any concept of God that has to have a creator, where to come from, it's, it's doesn't good. It, you know, it's easy answer. You shot yourself. Was cheating? Gods were cheating. It's just it's a bigger mystery, and I hope we get get to solve it in our lifetime. But hey, even if we don't, we tried. We were in the ride. And, um, nobody would know. You know, you can't prove God, you can't disprove. Nobody would know. I think we will get closer. I really think we will. Because we're actually getting more information daily, weekly. And I can see 5, 10 years, 15 years, everybody's going to be old as hell. We'll probably solve the Big Bang. And probably the origin of life. I think it might be possible. Because science advances, technology advances, and um, hell, if we can come up with the universe from nothing, from Lawrence Krauss, in our age, it's imagine years from now, I think it might be possible. Hell, if Einstein or Newton was alive, could, could we have gotten further? It's hard to say. Maybe. But since we came out from the universe from nothing with Lawrence Krauss, that's, that's, that's pretty huge, and, and Hawking said there's no God. All that's left is what, what triggered the Big Bang. I think if even if those scientists were alive, I don't think they could have figured that out. Still, be, um, because this is stuff that's beyond our science, right? This is like alien science. Because Lawrence Krauss said science is going to have to be written in years. 
This means it's science that no scientist would know about. It's alien science, science of aliens, different laws um, of the universe, of the different universe, different laws, different gravity, different elements, different atoms, different, you name it, forces. <laughs> And, um, and I think when we reach to that point of the unknown, how many years that will take, um, we'll get closer to the mystery. Um, whether it's the Big Bang, the old multiverse. Or existence in general. I think what's probably going to happen since the universe is, you know, our mother, everything is just huge. We probably could simulate um, after we get all the data with computers of, of the multiverse going in there virtually, whatever, looking at. The virtual particles virtually, you know, um, looking at the explosion virtually, like, um, you know, seeing how before the Big Bang will cause that virtually, and I think it will get closer. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, like I said, maybe it could be five years, ten years, maybe even more. But at the rate. I think we're, that we're learning, because um, we came to the universe from nothing. You know, this is this is very huge. I say five years, we're, we're going to have a lot more data. I believe we will. A lot more data, at least in five years. I don't know if we'll solve the beginning, but the, but I think we'll have a lot more data. Um, and the thing is. Um, <laughs> A lot of the things brings up more questions and more questions and new elements and, and, and uh, so maybe once if Lawrence Krauss says science will have to be written years from now and then we, maybe when we can learn and to learn that new science and analyze it maybe we could actually really understand the Big Bang and understand the multiverse so until then um, Science is going to keep on bringing up more questions and answers. Doesn't mean it's going to be impossible. This is going to be, it's, going to probably, it's probably going to take a, a lot of time, I'm thinking. But let's see what happens in five years. I, I think five years is going to be a, a good mark. I think we'll get a lot more data in five years. Um, but maybe, like, to solve it all... We might we might have to be like really old, <laughs> but we but but this is all speculation. I mean I mean, what would be solved first? The origin of life, the Big Bang, or m born to the multiverse. So I I think it's a we're living in a wonderful time to learn more and more. Because we're learning something new almost every day, scientists, and every week at least, you know, from dark energy, dark, dark matter, to the shield, it's protecting on Earth. It's a lot of stuff out there. And, um, I guess, I guess we'll see in five years. Five years, that we can learn a lot in five years, but, uh, hopefully, the universe won't keep on bringing up more questions and answers because if it does it's going to take a lot longer but if it doesn't then we could solve might be solving you know faster um, that's what it boils down to you know the gods are religions are ridiculous to believe in um, the whole concept of, of those gods are, are just ridiculous and flawed and the concept of this theist god too is this, you know, where did, where did God come from and what created it? People said it has to be something greater than us. Well, maybe, maybe aliens, you know, alien species. Um, 